there are something that I want to briefly mention about uh, trade reviews because I've done quite a lot of the trade reviews uh, since uh, session one until now is session 10 already. Uh, I just want to probably briefly mention about the objectives of the, the trade review. So when I do the trade review is basically I will just um, focus on, on the analysis or the entry, trade management, and also the exit as well. So I think that's there are a lot more in a trade review if you want you really want to do a comprehensive review, but that's pretty much the generic type of the review, whether the analysis is correct and whether it's your entry is good, whether it's a late entry or early entry, how can you improve and how's your trade management? Can you squeeze out more profit or should you exit earlier? And definitely also the, the exit, whether it's is right just on time or a bit earlier things like that so it's quite important that we always look back uh, at our trade uh, whether it's still ongoing or maybe it's um, already close last week last month last year it doesn't matter so the point is that we always want to go back and uh, have a look that is there any ways that we can improve in terms of um, any of these things so that we don't repeat the mistakes. And if there is things that we can repeat, that things that we are doing well, then we can do it again. So that's the, the objective of the trade review. And another thing that uh, I want to mention is about the, the deep practice. So deep practice or someone call it a deliberate practice. Uh, according to the American Psychological Association, the purpose of the deliberate practice is to achieve high levels of the expert performance. Okay, so don't get scared by uh, the word expert performance. I mean, it certainly is um, the, the right way to, to express the deliberate practice because uh, this is how the, the top um, athletes, they actually train, practice, and eventually they can become the world-class athlete. However, as a trader or as an investor, I think there's only one objective is just to make money, to become a profitable trader or investor. So fortunately, we do really need to become an expert in order to become profitable trader or investor. So instead, what we need or what we can become is just to become better and better every day or every week or every month. So if we can just improve like 1% or even 0.01% every day or every week, then over the months or over the years, then we can definitely see a lot of the improvement. So trading and investing is a highly skill dependent um, activity or um, the, the, the profession. So we just need to uh, keep sharpen uh, our skill. So that's why um, I always want to do the trade review. The objective is not to impress you with the profit, but also to show you some of the losses as well because um, that way you really know how to actually uh, do it on your own and then improve from there and also to just to uh, take some of the mistakes from me or something that I'm doing well and then you can just um, hopefully to do it on your side as well. All right, so that's uh, about it and let's jump to SP Satya. So I mentioned uh, about SP Satya last Sunday Let's um, look at the SP Satya. This is just a very short term trade. Okay, so I mentioned it somewhere around here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is the uh, last Sunday. So I mentioned it here. And the entry is pretty much I just use uh, the hourly time frame, but you can pick any time frame that you, you like. So this is just based on um, like, like a breakout type of the entry. So that's, that's it. So it's a very clean, clean breakout. So that's the pivot. So I don't really want to, to trade it here, but I think that you probably can, can buy somewhere here. Supply is generally low and even here they got spike of the supply, but there's no results. So I, I bought the, the breakout 
and with my stop just uh, below somewhere here and I exit it here so that that could be a good exit uh, if you really want a short-term swing trade uh, is just roughly around one to one reward to risk but um, in terms of the daily chart is sort of just uh, continuously go up for two days despite that I don't really see any uh, threatening price action because um, technically we should be holding this uh, stock because I don't really see any exit point yet but because my point is just to uh, take some profit and I just want to for a swing trade so I just want to exit so that, that's my reason for the ex exit and this last two bar in the hourly time frame is just showing some kind of the um, supply especially the the last bar here but it certainly did not have any confirmation yet only the presence of the supply so it could be just like the the crude oil uh, presence of the supply but there is no downward results so there is slightly so if you can just keep breaking up and with some volume up and i think that's sp i can just uh, keep going up so this is just a for me it's an early exit to lock in the profit so in this case i think um the analysis is is fine it's all right um because timing is just nice uh, only three or four days uh, waiting and exit could be a bit early because there is no sign of exit yet but anyway um that's the reason to lock in a profit